we're super happy to be here today. It's actually something we do very, very rarely to have a public presentation um, about our work because normally our work is not in Berlin. And this is one of the few projects where we actually have a very specific connection to Berlin um, and Germany with our friends and colleagues from Ghana who live here or in, in the region, in, in Leipzig. Um, so we wanted just to take the opportunity to show you where we are uh, with our new pilot project, the Migrant Media Network, which is, let's say, um, a spin-off or a take-off out of the long-running Defy Hate Now initiative that was originally started in South Sudan, which was looking at the way social media, or let's say people on social media have been pushing the conflict in South Sudan. Um, we, uh, we developed a number of resources for that project, um, including um, this field guide, uh, the Social Media Hate Speech Mitigation Field Guide, um, which has become quite a, a complex resource package, um, architected by Jody Rose, <laughs> back there, thank you, that, um, and designed in large part by Kara Schutt, who is also here. Yes, <laughs> that for the first time, so very cool that you're there. Um, we've been often getting questions like whether or not these resources that we develop for conflict mitigation in South Sudan can be applicable in other contexts and in other types of scenarios, um, including uh, issues of migration. Um, and we said yes, of course, um, because a lot of these issues are interconnected. Um, you know, incitement to violence is very, very close to threats and false information and, and um, how people access media and all that. Um, so when the, when the question came up, would it be interesting, would it be possible to develop a project um, that would be aimed at people from diaspora communities here in Berlin, in Berlin and in Germany, um, and then develop materials for those people when they go back home to then start um, either community groups or discussions or trainings. Uh, we thought, yeah, that's actually a very interesting way to do it because normally what we do is, you know, we develop the stuff here, then we go to the country that we've been invited to work in and, uh, and apply it there. So uh, the Migrant Media Network for us is also um, a bit of an experiment and a, and a test. Um, and I'm very, very grateful that um, you guys are here today to talk about your experience uh, in Ghana. Um, and yeah, I suppose besides saying that we're super happy that we got funding from the German Foreign Office uh, for this project as a pilot. Um, I'm hoping that the gentleman, Stefan Ott, from the Foreign Office will be popping by. He said he would like to come, but who knows, on a Sunday, Friday, in the middle of the day, uh, whether one will be lunching somewhere else or coming here. Uh, we don't know, but uh, we do look forward uh, to getting um, a grant in order to actually uh, develop project in a much sort of um, broader and stronger uh, way. This is just a small beginning and um, yeah, I would like to then that note pass it on to my colleague Thomas who developed the whole concept, basically brought the idea actually to us in the first place um, and um, is basically the, the, the project manager and also architect, let's say, of the project Migrant Media Network. So Thomas, that's the one So, as, as Steve said, is that one of the one of the jobs I do and uh, consult on is in regard to migration, entrepreneurship, and innovation. And in this regard, usually um, I do innovation scouting and for Sub-Saharan Africa, working with various other organizations like the Robert Koch Stiftung, the, the Batman Stiftung, on understanding the innovation concept and what pushes innovation concepts in Africa. And one of these, and one of the things that I came across with is understanding what are opportunities and how do people explore opportunities back at home and how do these opportunities connect with migration. So what are the things that we have to think about when we think about migration? And the migration regarding to what are, how do, they, how do the people process information and when do they get this information? So today we are going to be hearing a good introduction note on that 
from uh, one of the um, scholars who has really res uh, also researched on political and political science and uh, as much informed information on this particular on these particular uh, concepts. And uh, I would like you to join me to welcome uh, Fortune. I was trying to learn the name before. Fortune. Agbeli. Agbeli.